we're going to look at converting mixed to entire radicals and entire radicals to mixed radicals. So here's a couple of radicals, that's these, these root signs. You've seen those before. This one we would call an entire radical because all of the expression is under the square root. And this expression here is what we call a mixed radical because part of it is under the square root and part of it is uh, not, out, not under the square root. It's written as a product in, in front. And so how do we go from an entire to a mixed and how do we go from a mixed to an entire? So that's what we're going to look at here. Let's start with the square root of 50, which is an entire radical, and review how we would convert this to a mixed radical. One of the things that we can do is we can do a factor tree for 50. So we know that 50 is divisible by 2. It's 2 times 25. Now 2 is a prime number. You can't divide it by anything except itself and 1. So I'm going to circle that because that branch of the tree is done. But 25 is not prime because I can divide 25 by 5. 25 is 5 times 5. And these are both prime numbers. So my factor tree is complete. And I can say instead of the square root of 50, I can write 50 as a product of its prime factors. 2 times 5 times 5. And it's always a good idea after you've done this to just double check that when you multiply these factors you do get 50 in case you accidentally missed one when you're doing your factor tree. So let's just check. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. So that's good. We've done that correctly. Now what we have here is we have a product of our prime factors and since we are finding a square root and that's really like a little 2 here. We don't need to write it if, if uh, it's just a square root that's assumed. We're looking, for a, we're looking for two factors that are the same. So looking in here, I can see that there are two 5's. So if we see a pair of factors, then I can take that factor and move it outside of the square root and write this as 5 root 2. And the reason why we do that is 5 times 5 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So anytime you're doing a square root, if there's two factors the same under the square root sign, then I can write one of them outside. And there's, there's kind of a neat little story I like to tell with, with square roots. Let's just write this one again. Um, so you can kind of think of this like a bit of a house. Here's the roof of the house, and these are a bunch of a bunch of people or objects inside the house, and they want to go outside to play. So two, he's got you got to find a buddy if you're going to go outside. So two looks for a buddy. There's no buddy to uh, go outside and play with him, so he's got to stay inside the house. But five looks for a buddy, and he finds one. So there are two fives. They get to go outside and play. So there's a five outside playing a group of fives outside playing and un still in the house because he couldn't find a buddy is the two. So that's just a little trick to remember the procedure for for simplifying square roots and writing them as um, a mixed radical. So there's an entire radical to a mixed radical. And then of course going backwards if we started with that five root two to convert it back to an entire radical if I'm going to move this inside the house. There needs to be two of them inside the house. So one outside is the equivalent of two inside, or two inside was the equivalent of one factor outside. So simply to go from a mixed radical to an entire radical, I bring whatever's out here un in underneath the square root, and I make sure I write two of those factors. And then I just multiply these together. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 5 is, is 50. And here's a couple more. We'll just do these quickly. So say we've got to convert these entire radicals to mixed radicals. I'm going to quickly do a factor tree. 2 times 24 prime. 24 is 2 times 12 prime. 
12 is 2 times 6, prime. 6 is 2 times 3, prime and prime. So the square root of 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 1, 2, 3, 4 twos and a 3. So 2 is going to look for a buddy, finds one. They get to go outside and play. Here's another 2, looks for a buddy, finds one. They get to go outside and play. So we have a 2 and another 2, which make 4. Root, he didn't have a buddy, stays inside the square root. So 4 root 3. Now when it's a cube root, oh, let's do our factor tree first here. Let's find the product of the factors. 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. So this would be the equivalent to the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And now because it's a cube root, before you get to go outside and play, you've got to look for a group of 3. So 2's got to find a group of 3 before they can go outside and play. There are 3 2's. So we put a 2 outside, and this person was by himself, so he's left behind in the house. So that's converting mixed and entire radicals. We'll look at some examples now that have um, coefficients and variables under the square root. So here's a first one that's an entire radical. Let's say we need to express that one as a mixed radical. And here's a mixed radical, and let's say we've got to convert this one to an entire radical. So let's start with the first one. Now we would do the same, same thing here. For the number, we would do the factor tree, which is 2 times 36. 36 is 2 times 18. 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So here's some prime factors. So I could write this expression as the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. That would be 72, and you would double check that just by multiplying that all out. But that's 72, and then there's x to the power of 5, which is really like times an x, times an x. And I'm going to use dots here so we don't get confused with the x's as a times. So you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times x times x times x times x times, there's five x's here. And so the same procedure applies, start with the numbers. We're looking for pairs because this is a square root, so there's a pair of twos. No other twos in here, here's a pair of threes. Here's a pair of x's, and here's a pair of x's. And so when it comes time for to figure out who's outside and playing, there's a two outside times, there's a 3 outside, then there's an x outside, and there's another x outside, which is like an x squared, x times x. And then what's left behind under the, in the square root is the 2 and 1x. So tidying this up, we would get 2 times 3, which is 6x squared root 2x would be this radical in simplest form. And so to do that, to convert an entire radical to a mixed radical, take the number, write it as a product of prime factors, take the variables, list them all out here, five x's, and then we're looking, because it's a square root, it's like a two, we're looking for pairs of things that are brought out. And just remember that two, two terms or two factors underneath the square root is equivalent to one factor outside. So these pair of twos become one two outside, these pair of threes become one three outside, there's one x outside, there's another x outside which is x squared. And then we'd have two x left behind. And so if we're gonna go and convert a mixed radical to an entire radical, we gotta bring these things back inside the house. But this is a cubed root, so that means that we'll leave the two n squared, they were in there to start with. But if we're going to bring these things inside the roots, that means that there would be three threes, three times three times three, or three cubed inside. And if we bring this n inside, there would need to have been three n's, or n times n times n, when it's brought inside. 
And so it becomes the cubed root of 2 times 3 cubed. Well, 3 cubed is 27. And 27 times 2 is 54. So multiply your numbers together. And then n squared times n cubed. Remember, when the bases are the same, we can add the exponents as a shortcut. So n squared times n cubed would be n to the power of 5. So this mixed radical would convert to this entire radical. So that's how we can convert mixed to entire radicals and entire radicals to mixed radicals.